Hello everyone and welcome back to the absolute disaster that is the waifu's carrier only let's play If you have recently watched the last episode, then you will know the tragedy that just occurred But if you haven't then I highly 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 suggest that you go and watch the latest episode before this which of course is episode five and experience the heartbreak that i went through we are back today this is episode six and we will rebuild i promise i promise you we will rebuild we are starting with two new exoria ships that we have just purchased off of the market now i did make a bit of a boo-boo and i bought these ships and left myself with only fifty thousand credits to outfit them with and as you will not well know um uaf fighters cost a, a, a couple of bays costs more than fifty thousand credits so we're gonna have to be very smart here but i believe in us but before we give them their equipment we are going to give them their names and so we're going to start with the Exoria M. The Exoria M is going to be our new flagship for the time being. So the Exoria M is going to be our new flagship, which we are going to name the waifus, of course, Reich's Hammer. Because with this hammer, I shall claim vengeance on those who wronged me and rebuild for the future. <laughs> Or something like that. I really like Reich's Hammer because, as you might have guessed, I'm a big fan of Warhammer. Um, and I thought that was a fantastic name. So the waifu's Reich's Hammer is our new flagship. Next up is the Exoria D-Class that we picked up. Um, which is a little bit messed up, as you can see, uh, with its damaged weapon mounts D-Mod. But this one is going to also be named as it joins the fleet. And it is going to be the waifu's. Andromeda. Now, the Reich's Hammer was suggested by uh, commenter Sven Kuba, and the Andromeda was suggested by commenter Bowler Hat Clan. Um, so, congratulations on being picked, and, and, and thank you for su suggesting names. Guys, please do keep giving me name suggestions. In the comments below the video, please give me all of the name suggestions. Uh, that you think should be in. I am adding them to a great big long list and I am picking the ones that I fit as I see, I, I think fit as we go. So, welcome to the fleet, the Waifu's Reich's Hammer and the Waifu's Andromeda. It is wonderful to have you here. I hope that you last longer in the fleet than the Evergarden <laughs> and the Chonkers. <laughs> but first, we are going to start equipping our new flagship. And our new flagship um, is going to need some fighters. Now, based on the fact that we only have 51,000 credits left at the moment, we are just going to run three lots of Aria Strike Fighters, which is half our money, um, in our flagship. So they aren't particularly the best fighters, um, but they replace... Very, very quickly. 10 seconds base replacement time. And there are four of them. So this Exoria is going to be sending out 12 fighters at once. Which, you know, is a formidable force for sure. It also has the Royal November grade being an M class. Um, so it has improved flux capacity and improved ship armor. But reduced its top speed and its mobility. Um, it also has the Melody modification. Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. <laughs> we are going to slap some equipment on these hard points. And of course, what are we going to do? We are not going to do the vices because the vices are a thousand credits each. We're going to start with the rainers. The rainers, because they are affordable. We will do a weiss too on the front here which cost us, goodness me, a, a lot of um, 2,000 credits. Whew. Whew. And is there a chorus? Is there a chorus? 
for us to load up. I do not see a chorus, unfortunately. So we will run another vice too. <clears throat> and uh, that is lot, most of our money. Um, we will go ahead and add some whole features here. Um, definitely hardened subsystems. Very, very important. We're going to run the dedicated targeting core. Which, of course, um, improve the range of ballistic and energy weapons. Which does improve the range of point defense. And with still 78, 76 even. I can math, I promise. Uh, points here. We're actually just going to slam it all into vents and capacitors. And the reason for that is because we are going to be replacing the fighters um, later on. So we don't want to go spending uh, on our... Uh, we don't want to go spending our points on things that we won't actually be able to just immediately quickly get off um, when we want to. So we're going to go ahead and just max out the capacitors and the vents there, leaving us with a wonderful 16 left. So we will, for the time being, just go ahead and add some expanded cargo holds onto the flagship, like so, leaving it one point short. No problem. That's fine. Um, weapon groups, absolutely fine. <laughs> And we have 18,000 credits to outfit the Andromeda, which I don't think we're possibly going to be doing. Um, however, we will try. So I'm going to go and put myself inside the Reichshammer there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put Henry inside the Andromeda. And we're going to go ahead and put Varda inside the Avenger, like so. And then we're going to go to our refit, and we're going to go and have a look at the Andromeda. Uh, and the Andromeda, we have 18,000 credits. We can put an Aria Strike <laughs> wing in. In fact, I think at this point in time, the smarter thing for us to do is actually just to go to the fleet and mothball the Andromeda. We will leave that mothballed for the time being until we have enough money to outfit it correctly. I believe that is the right move to make um, because we have 18,000 credits to our name and we need to buy supplies which of course we can't afford and i feel like i might have to sell some of these things like the tech lancer here or the tech uh scanner even the vpc heavy armaments and uh no i'm not selling the fullerene spool no i'm not selling the fullerene, no. no so there we go that covers the cost of our supplies and now we just need to grab some fuel which we can afford and we're okay on crew Ocean Bradford, we're coming to talk to you. We need money desperately. Can you help us out? Now, there was a comment saying that the Discuss the Potential Ship sale was actually them selling us a ship, and I thought it was the other way around, so we're going to have a look. Um, and here we go. Excellent. Our fleets are in need of some new vessels, and you surely have a few good such specimens, including ones not normally available to the Aurora Federation. Requirements, maximum DMODs 1, size cruiser. Offer a ship meeting those requirements. So to confirm, this is me selling one of my ships to them. For those comments in, um, that, that were, were saying that this wasn't a thing, that they were selling us a ship on that one, no. And when it says a discuss a potential ship sale, that is me selling a ship to them, not the other way around. Um... But we're going to have a look at what's on the bounty docket. And we're going to say, we, 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 you know what? We're not going to go for the more challenging target. I uh, have a little bit of uh, of trauma involved uh, with going for the more challenging target that I think I need to get over a little bit. So we're going to look at whatever we can do with. That's 47 light years away, which is significantly far away. Some destroyers. Uh, there's a strike. Uh, there's a falchion. We definitely could deal with this, no problem. We are going to look at the other targets to see if there's one that isn't 47 light years away. A more manageable target is 38 light years away. Um, that honestly isn't that much more close um, for me to. All right, what's the more challenging? Only nine light, nine light years away, um, and it's you know we can do this. We can do this. They've got a single cruiser and a modified freighter, and then some destroyers. We absolutely can do this, and if we don't, well, then I'm just absolutely and totally screwed at that point, aren't I? Yeah, just absolutely and totally screwed. That's fine. <laughs> Let's... <laughs> oh, guys, I think I need help. Um, we have supplies. We have fuel. Let's do this. I'm going to be entirely honest with you guys. I'm having second thoughts. 
I'm having second thoughts, and I really don't think that we can take on that bounty. I think we need the Andromeda in order to take it on. I don't think we can do it with three ships, especially while the Reichshammer is running very, very weak fighters. I think we need to wait. And I'm going to be entirely honest with you. I really don't want to get rid of the Fullerene spoil, Spool. Because a 30% colony accessibility is such a huge thing. Really just don't want to get rid of it. We can get rid of our logistics core. Uh, okay, we can get rid of that. Fine. Sure. That gives us a little bit of money to play with. Um, I also... Let's let's wait for our monthly payment to come through. I'll bring you guys back when the monthly payment comes through. There's the monthly payment. We are now sitting very comfortably on 100,000 credits. We are going to drop in to the station now. We are going to refit Reich's Hammer. And we're going to equip it out with some much higher tier weaponry. So looking at what we've got, we have access to the Hyacinth Bomber Wing. Now this drops bombs that are very, very, very slow. It is excellent against very large sort of capital ships and stations. But they're not going to be great for what we're currently engaging against. So I'm thinking we are just going to go ahead and place in triple Nekonyan strike wings oh that is not what i wanted to oops there we go <laughs> triple Nekonyan strike wings on the reich's hammer i think is the best play here they have machine guns they have missiles they are a high alpha strike missile fighter that will return to ship once all missiles are spent. That is what we need for our... our we need alpha strikes for the fights that we're going to be getting ourselves into. So that is the right decision to make, I believe. I really, really do believe that. We're going to fill in the last points with vents. And honestly, I think we're actually going to remove ex expanded cargo holds in favor. <sighs> Maybe reinforced bulkheads but actually maybe not maybe um maybe actually we just spend those points on vents and capacitors like so so just beef the reich's hammer up a little bit i think with hardened subsystems dedicated targeting core we're fine we really do need to keep an eye out for mods we really do need to keep an eye out for mods i think this is going to be our best bet going forwards also while i was waiting we were over cargo capacity um, just because I got rid of those cargo holds, of course. We'll sell those Aria LPCs. Um, and uh, we will drop. My goodness, really? We needed to drop that many supplies? That's uh, that's rough. Um, no worries, though. Um, we did get a mission popping up on our... Uh, uh, buh, 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 bounty board... Um, and it was a personal bounty over here, quite a far ways away, but a very easy bounty for us to do. A strike and a couple of wolves for 53,000. And I figured that was a perfect way to get us back on our feet. So we're going to go and do that first. We have 108 days for our pirate bounty that we got from Ocean Bradford. So I think we have enough time to head out, do this bounty, get a little bit more money, Maybe um, get a monthly paycheck as well or two. Equip out the second Exoria class, the Andromeda, and then go ahead and engage that pirate bounty with four fully equipped vessels ready to go. And I really do believe that is what we're going to need to do. So I do apologize for getting cold feet and backing out of doing this bounty uh, straight away. But I really do believe <laughs> that... Um, I, I well no I don't necessarily believe I bel I think I think we're not strong enough to do it and after after the absolute heartache that was last episode I really just don't think I can go ahead and jump into another battle and lose everything once again so we we're, we're going to do this instead we're going to do this instead and and hopefully uh that isn't a massive mistake so I'll, I'll bring you back when we get there and 
We have arrived. Oh, right next to the sun. Um, in the Van Rien star system. Now, if we look at our intel, um, we will realize that actually he's in the Neki star system, not the Van Rien. So, how did I end up in the Van Rien system? Uh, that is a good question. Uh, Baron Bombarded World in the Neki star system. Why do I not see Neki? I see Alpha Maculata. I see Hadon Vesselet. And I see Beta Maculata. Um, I am confused. I am Confucius. There's a Baron Bombarded World over here, but this is definitely not Neki. Is it? It would appear not, but it also appears that Neki isn't a system just at all. Uh, yeah, there's nothing here. Uh, there is there is nothing here at all. So I am unsure. Uh, we're going to hit this jump point. And we're going to just... Have a look. That is Alpha Maculata. And that is Beta Maculata. But there... Have I been led astray by this bounty? Oh no, I've I'm clicked on the wrong one. Oh no, <laughs> somehow I've managed to click on the wrong bounty all this time. The Maculatus Nebula near a Terran world in a system with an orange primary star. Okay, fantastic. Uh, they all have orange primary stars. They're all in the Maculatus. <laughs> and near a Terran world. Let's go ahead and check out Alpha first. Uh, I am a fool uh, of a took. Uh, in here, we have a, a irradiated world and a Terran world over here. I imagine this is our target. Um, <laughs> oh, I am a little bit embarrassed. I will admit to being uh, a little bit embarrassed. But that's okay. Let's find our target. Um, here he is. This should be a... Um... Take command of the action. So yeah, if I click on my frigates, I can deploy them left and right. So if I set... This was another comment that uh, informed me. If I deploy the Minoria on the left there and hit deploy, then the Minoria comes in up here. How fantastic. So the Minoria can just go straight to the sensor jammer. Um, the Reichshammer can charge down the Shrike. The Shinoria, the Astari can take down the wolf and we will be very, very comfortable. That is a very, very brave. There's a very, very brave wolf right there. <laughs> Turning to face us. Uh, is, uh, that is an, an exquisitely brave wolf. Let us watch from up here. Um, as, yeah, let's send you to engage the strike. Let's send you to engage the strike. Get your ships involved in the fight. There we go. There we go. Pummel it. Pummel it. Beautiful. Exquisite. Stunning. Gorgeous. Delightful. Oh, and here come here come the Nekonyans. Nekonyans are here to end the party. It's just a wolf left. There come the missiles. There we go. Good night. Fair. Well. And that is a wonderful pile of credits. We will take everything there. We will receive a nice pile of credits, putting us up on 113,000 again. We will um, look for a day. It appears there was not a double-dipped salvage. There was not a debris field left over for us to do anything with. Uh, let's have a look at this Terran world, though. Let's actually perform a survey here. Um, because Terran worlds 
can be fantastic colony sites. There is abundant organics, adequate farmland, scattered ruins, sparse rare ore deposits, and moderate ore deposits as well. It's a class five planet. It has ruins for us to explore. It has farmland, adequate farmland, so no bonuses or penalties. It has minus one rare ores, which is unfortunate. It has no bonuses to regular ores. And it has plus one organics. So it's honestly not that great for industry. But it's very, very habitable. It is very, very habitable with only a hazard rating of 75%. Which is exquisite. Truly, truly exquisite. However, the first thing we need to do is explore these ruins. And let's see if we find anything. Because ruins can truly contain some wonders. No. Oh, no. These ruins did not contain wonders. They didn't really contain much of anything. Uh, except some volatiles and some organics and some transplutonic ore. Um, which is a real shame. Uh, which is a real, real shame. But it, it is what it is. That's fine. Um, we do have that class 5 survey data as well. Um, so success. Success. So we are going to hop in our vessel. We're going to get paid in a day or two as well. Which is again huge. And we are going to go and get ourselves back to the UAF homeworld to get our second Exoria class vessel on iron. And then, with 49 days, uh, it doesn't look like we're going to get this bounty, are we? 52 days to get back there? No, it's not. This bounty is going to time out, unfortunately. There's nothing we can do about that. We just have to accept it. We just have to accept it. There is nothing else on the way for us to do. Um, we just need to we need to head back with our newfound money uh, and improve our fleet. That is that is a simply it is simply just what it is. Um, let's go. Uh, so we're just making a quick stop here in Cinder and Dictat space. Um, uh, we are we actually can't stop there. Okay. Um, interesting. Really, an orbital station that we can't stop at? That is curious. Or it doesn't have any, like, traders or anything. Interesting indeed. Okay, fine. Um, no problem. Um, let's go to this one. And we just need to pick up some more supplies. Um, otherwise, we'll run out before we get back. Oh, it would appear that there is some serious combat going on. I. Oh, they're in inhos inhospitable towards me. So I cannot dock. Oh, they're only neutral towards me, though. I didn't think there is. Should we get in on this battle? Our fleet plus the station versus their. Oh, no. There is, there is, there is salvage. There is salvage for us, though. Um, but no, we won't consider ship's recovery, but we will begin salvage operations. Maybe we will find something nice, even if we don't. Box fire rocket batteries. Um, or odd auto guns, uh, maybe they are, yeah, worth grabbing. Still, I guess this is um, cheaper than um, This is in incredible to witness what's going on. It's, it's a full-blown war between the uh, Magellan here and the Sindrian Dictat. Uh, I don't want to recover. No, I do want to salvage. Um, goodness me. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is one way to restock. 
This certainly is one way to restock. <laughs> the combat is just, it's just ongoing. It is just ongoing. Oh, we no, we do not want to... There are some scavengers around that would get angry with us, huh? Okay. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and salvage here. Begin our salvage operations. Um, it would appear we're not really getting anything of value now. Uh, so I think we're um, we're putting our... That's right. We've topped up. We've come in. We haven't paid a single penny. And we've topped up, we've topped up our supplies um, back to full. And uh, we're ready to go. So let's just get out of here. I would call that a success. And we are back home in New Aurora. Let us get to the station and breathe a breath of air. Our mission was successful. We are back with money. Enough money to fit our second area that is currently mothballed. And to continue onwards. Sell this class 5 survey data as well for a nice chunk of cash. Let us go to refit. Let us go to... You know, I wonder... I wonder whether we should replace the super areas. But I'm not sure. Let's go to... Um, oh, we should probably unmothball it first, right? Unmothball it. There we go. Now go to the refit. We need to bring our Andromeda up. Our Andromeda, sorry, up to play. And so we have some Nagas available to us, actually. And the Nagas, if we cycle their weapons info, have two SPCs. Um, and they are first of their kind to ever enter mass production under the request of the automata decision. These types are equipped with experimental mechanism. That allows them to convert ships generated heat into flux infused rounds. Fascinating. So they are a disruptive cannon. Energy weapon. Then they have two EPDs, which are point defense auto cannons. Fantastic to have. They do not have. I think it's very, very important to note here. They do not have missiles. And I think what we really need at the moment are missiles. Now we have no Versky attacker wings here, which are the heavy attacker wings. And they have the 40 millimeter rapid rotary fire cannons. They have the 57 millimeter cannons as well. And then the HFAR dumbfire rockets. So I think we're going to run triple Noverskis on this beautiful ship. And then we're going to go ahead and equip it. And to equip it, we're going to chuck some vices on it. Like a so. And then we're going to double check. If there are any chorus, there are. There is one chorus. Wonderful. This is exactly what we need. There we go. We slap the chorus on there. And the Andromeda is equipped and ready to go. Confirm the weapon groups. Perfect. Let's have a look at some hull features. Uh, we're going to go for hardened subsystems. Most definitely. Hardened subsystems, hardened subsystems are very, very, very important. And then dedicated targeting core. And then with just one point left, we'll put it in fence. Magnifico. Magnifico. The Andromeda is ready to go. We still have 191,000 credits. We do have to repair our ships and buy a whole bunch more supplies, which is going to dive into what we can afford. Uh, Crew-wise, we are still okay, though I would still like to buy some more. There we go. Wonderful. We are back functioning as a fleet. We have three cruisers of various tiers. We have our Minoria SP. We are finally and once again in position to press on. And we are going to talk to Ocean Bradford. Ocean Bradford, hello. How are you doing? Do you have any work for me? 
Now, they don't have a bounty, but they do have a military system bounty. And I'm not massively keen. So, we are going to, in fact, go and say hello to here. A vermilion station. Which is just over here. Nia, my lovely, lovely... Actually, hold on. Let me... Let me... I can't go and visit Nia without bringing her a choco lava cake now, can I? I can't go visit Nia without buying her a choco lava cake. No, no. <laughs> there we go. Choco lava cake for Nia. Choco lava cake for Nia. And we will see whether Nia has any work for us. Uh, to go on so we want to I think we want to avoid these sort of like things around the Sun I believe these I think they're called coronals or coronals um, or something like that but I, I believe I might be wrong about this but I believe I was told that I needed to um, uh, avoid them anyway yeah hello would you like a choco lava cake. Oh, I thought you might. Thank you for the 35. Uh, or the additional 10 relationship. Which is huge. Huge, I tell you. Um, uh, ask about the UAF affiliate program. So you've heard about the affiliate program? Yeah. <laughs> it's a new program proposed by the governing body in Favonius. Are you interested in that? Favonius always has his abundance of supplies and fuel for some reason, so we are giving some of them away, but you are still required to register. Based on my observation, you are actually eligible for that. If you want to register for the program, we just need to ask for your loyalty to sign some of these papers. You can see some paper gets printed on the computer tray. Yeah, just sign those. It's nothing important, just buy basic stuff. Sure, sure. I'll sign my life away to you here. <laughs> I'm now registered in the UAF affiliate program. Oh, good. You are now officially registered. Don't forget to visit Favonius to get your part every three months. Okay. Well, all right. Um, Fuel and supplies for free. Now, Nia has two quests for us or missions or bounties. The Transplutonic Ore Procurement, 1,300 units. Delivered 1900 19 ladies. We don't have a freighter at the moment. So unfortunately 208,000 credits Wow That is There is money in there is money in shipping I'm going to decline right now and I'm going to ask about the special pirate fleet bounty though Wants us to go to new biscay And we and she wants us to just hunt pirates, you know what? I kind of fancy just some 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 good old pirate hunting. I do kind of fancy some good old pirate hunting. So thank you, Nia. Uh, we are exactly going to go and do that um, and have some fun with it, I think. Um, now we have, I did notice, notice, we have a potential new contact. And Inari is, of course, the Hem Fayette administrator. And we're going to develop her as a contract because I like I like Inari. So we're going to go and see Inari as well. Here we are. Hello, Inari. It is lovely to see you once again. Greetings to you, Captain Carrier Timo. What is it you wish to ask from the nobles? Well, do you have any work from me? I have a bounty. Okay, okay. 50 light years away, 90,000 credits, couple of cruisers, okay, what about the other types, what about a more manageable, 54 light years away, goodness me, very far away, what about the more challenging target, 52 light years away, goodness me, Inari, you really want to send me to the other side of the system, don't you, you don't want to send me to anything close, do you, oh, you know what, I think um, for now, sweetheart, I'm not going, no, thank you. Uh, but it was lovely to talk to you, and um, and we will we will we will we will talk again soon. Um, pretzels and croissants. I forgot. I was supposed to bring 
uh, you pretzels and croissants, and I didn't, and I'm so sorry. Uh, I will remember in the future to bring you presents, um, pretzels and croissants. Um, now, what armor we got? We got heavy armor. We got advanced turret gyro, gyros, <laughs> gyros. Uh, neither of which we can really make much use of right now. Um, so let's just uh, let's have a let's have a quick let's have a quick look at the ships, shall we? Uh, there's an Isonoria. I really want to get another Isonoria. I'm not gonna lie, I already miss our Isonoria. Um, poor, poor Isonoria. Poor, poor Isonoria. Uh, the Aurora military um, has some fantastic vessels here, actually. Um, another Shinoria, uh, two more Exorias, uh, three more Exorias, sorry. Um, but unfortunately, we, we, we don't have a lot of money right now. We don't have a lot of money right now. We could pick up another Minoria, but I really don't think that we should be spending our money on regular Minorias anymore. I think if we're going to be picking up Minorias, which I do want to pick up some more Minorias, but I think that they should be the SP variant. Um, if I'm going to be entirely honest. So, that's fine. We, we probably should pick up a Woe. But at the moment, we're not exactly we're not exactly rolling in money. So I think the best thing for us to do right now is to get more money. But that will have to wait until the next episode, because that is the end of this episode, guys. It, it has been an absolute roller coaster of a couple of episodes. The last one and this one has just been all over the place in terms of emotions and. We are finally getting back into a position where we can progress. So please, please, please put all of your energy and your best wishes into uh, making sure that this fleet does not die a death it does not deserve, um, but indeed, indeed can go forwards and earn glory in the space battlefield. Um, if you have liked this video, please hit that like button, consider subscribing, and don't forget to check me out on Twitch. The link is in the description below. But otherwise, I will see you in the next episode. So stay, 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 stay safe in the stars. Till next time.